Well, we're at the end of alphabet month, and so to fill out the rest of the month, uh, my video today will be about weird letters. There was this one time that I went to a friend's hot tub party, and he had a French exchange student visiting him. And we were sitting in the hot tub, and we were drinking beers, and we happened to be drinking Lowenbrow. And everybody was saying Lowenbrow, and he started cracking up. And we're like, what? why are you laughing? What? What are you laughing at? And he said that everybody was pronouncing it wrong, and that in France and in Germany it's pronounced Löwenbräu. And he just could not get over how everyone in Canada that he had met so far said Lowenbrow instead of Löwenbräu, which he was used to. So. I try my best to try and learn the real pronunciations of beers as best I can, um, just because I think it's fun. I don't have a representation of all the weird letters that are out there, like accent aigus and accent graves, but I have a lot of the more German weird letters represented here, and I'm just going to go over what I have. Okay, so on this big stein that I have, we have the A with an umlaut, and usually this would be uh, an A ah sound, but it becomes more of an A sound. So it's Spionbroi with the U at the end. Uh, uh. This bottle I got in Germany, and I got it in Munich, and Munich is um, more clo more locally called München, if you know the soccer team. So the M-U with the umlaut, it's not so much an U uh sound, it's more of an U sound, so München. Münchener. And then this one, we have Warsteiner. This is a pretty good lager, it's really nice, it's very fresh tasting. Um, the W would be pronounced with a V, so VAR, and then it has the, what's called the ESET, which is like a B-shaped letter in German. Um, so it's, it's actually a sharp S, so VAR Steiner. It's almost like a double S. And then I just wanted to show you Another pronunciation of the double S that you sometimes see is uh, Weiss, but this one says W-E-I-Z-E-N, but a lot of times you see uh, W-E-I and then the, the B, the B looking letter, and that's, uh, it's called an Aset, so it's Weissen, Weissen because it's a wheat beer. And then we have uh, Frühli, or Freuli, and this is a strawberry beer, which is really tasty and nice. And then I have another stein. Um, it says, Auf der, auf der Alm da ist es schön. So this is an example of an O with an umlaut. And it has, the O becomes an U sound, so sh this is SCHÖN, S-C-H-U-N. And then at Oktoberfest you see steins kind of like this, but really, really big. I don't have one of the really big ones, but uh, they kind of look like this, except for they're this big. And that's called uh, a MAS, M-A. Uh, a set, so the double S again, the big B S. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so ein, ein Mass is a, a Stein. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about pronouncing weird beer names and, uh, and about those strange letters. 
And, uh, I, you know, I'm just noticing right now that uh, the Farsteiner bottle also has an O umlaut. So it's Eine Königin unter den Bieren. So it has the Königin. Anyway, uh, Prost!